when was the last time you cursed your issues or you uh, cribbed about your problems half an hour ago one hour ago or just few hours back right we all do this but if you want to ensure that how you can leverage your problems into solutions for yourself watch this video until the end all right welcome back and i'm pujita singh there is something very important that i wanted to share with you all very often especially these days right now because we are all working from home uh, the entire family is kind of locked in and everybody is operating from home we are not able to step out of the house and there is so much more frustration and so much within inside there is something that i wanted to share with you all right very often we crib our issues or we crib about our problems we curse our issues we curse the people who is hurting us who is mistreating us and who is not respecting us and so much more you know what you should be thankful to them i'm not kidding you should actually be thankful to them if in life there was any teacher who did not give you right guidance or who did not treat you well when you were a kid or if somebody did not treat you well in your life and you actually have grown out of that issue you got to be thankful to them let me just take an example right uh, i still remember people used to make fun of my language especially english because i was not that a uh, good student in terms of understanding english because i come from the north part part of india and people used to literally make fun of me bully me for the language or the words or the sentences i used to form way back during my school and college days it was very embarrassing right but what happened due to that problem teacher used to make fun of it uh, students batchmates classmates schoolmates you name it everybody just had so much fun with it but what happened eventually was the beautiful story out of it i'm not kidding i started working on myself and my language yes so if in case there is somebody who is not treating you well go back and reflect on that has actually created your growth story whether somebody is not respecting you today or you started working on yourself because somebody misbehaved you with you or they told you something you actually started working on it of course there are far and few cases which has also damaged us permanently but what is very important is if you had an experience in the past where somebody did not treat you well and today that's your biggest strength whether it's your language whether it is standing on your own whether it is being independent whether you raising the voice and being free in life and so much more remember you cannot become that person if you did not have that challenge or you did not had that issue in the past right we all crib our issues at this is what has happened to me this is what this person is doing to me and so much more but what did that issue or problem did to you it actually created your growth story right I want you to go back and do this one exercise today. Go back and look at one of the biggest issues that you had in life and see what did that issue do to you. Even the the scariest of the incidents in life like losing your loved one has made you something big today. Or for that matter if you went through any tragedy in life it could be any disaster. Right? It could be very personal you might not be, you know, be able to recollect and stuff like that but don't go into the issue completely but just go back and understand how did that issue has created a beautiful story out of it i'm sure you'll find one if not one you'll find more right if somebody cheated on you you understood the importance of relationship or right relationship if somebody made fun of you whether it's your language or any skill you worked on it today you are making money out of that skill that's the beauty of the whole issue if somebody has cheated on you or if somebody has done something major with you you will become the strongest person that you cannot imagine without having that problem so from now on i have a very simple request to you be thankful for people who are creating issues in life be thankful to people 
who are making fun of you of course it's very difficult at that point in time right away there then and there but deep down don't have an hate for them don't just hate hate them because they are the ones who are actually adding immense value by being that negative person in your life they are doing so much more that even a friend is not adding that much value in your life so they are part of your growth story they are part of your success they are part of who you have become they are part of those lessons that you have learned very carefully in life they are part of those course corrected character or the person that you have become in life how much more did they do they have added value in your life that you can't even be thankful or imagine right so just go back and think through don't have to get into the details of the event or the incident or the tragedy but just remember what that one incident has done to you in life your whole perspective is going to shift in life if you watch this video and even implement see it's going to be hard you'll not implement this overnight first of all they should there will be a lot of resistance there will be a lot of non acceptance that how dare she tells that you know you should love the person or like the person who has done something bad to you but just go back and see what good this person has done to you the kind of contributions this person has made to you in your life right and forgive them forgive them because the kind of story that they have written for you for the future and for the trending present you just don't know so with that i hope you will be able to implement this it will take some time don't be too hard on yourself just start understanding and reflecting introspect right and one step at a time you don't have to do with too many events just go back and understand which is that one event that has made you the person today when i got this clarity in life i had tears rolling in my eyes and i was able to forgive this person so much and they were very close to me in my life they are very close in fact today in terms of the hatred relationship but the kind of story they have written for my life my future is set i'm not asking you to pray for such people in life to come come up or you know have such people in life but every problem every problematic person every problematic situation every hurtful event in your life from the present or from the past is writing your future with that love you loads bye bye